Hello and welcome back to Crazy Doe Studio. Let's take a look at the command NSR stats info in this video. So the other day I was trying to find some information around a question in the comments and I came across this wonderful com uh, command which I had never seen before and it is hardly documented anywhere or it is not documented anywhere. This has a lot of information regarding the save set and the clients uh, that the save set belongs to and also the uh, proxy if it is an image level backup. Uh, I really don't have a use case where you would use this command every day but uh, yes it has a lot of information and I would see this command being used to build reports or inventory about uh, the clients that are being backed up because uh, the a DPA, yes, it gives you a lot of information regarding the backup and the clients, but it does not collect the information regarding the backup, uh, regarding the client operating system, which this command does. Now, there is, however, a drawback. So the biggest uh, drawback is that I could not find any other documentation regarding this particular command, or mm, I'm not sure how exactly this command in is being used uh, within networker and I'm pretty sure uh, or I saw that the uh, error uh, around uh, job query so I'm pretty sure that this command uses the job DB in some way but uh, again not sure so you can go ahead and you know Google for this particular command and uh, you're not gonna find anything other than this video and I have written a short blog for this so other than those two information I don't think you will be able to find anything else. So let's quickly take a look at the syntax for the NSR stats info. So if you have installed the networker server on a, a particular system, you can go on that system and run the NSR stats info minus H command. This is going to show you the usage of the command. So basically there are two, usage, uh, two types of usages. Uh, one is wherein you can directly use a switch and provide it an input like a client name. Uh, by giving this, what it does is it displays all the uh, backup information related to this particular client. So unless you are piping it or uh, redirecting it, uh, redirecting it to a particular file, uh, this might not be very helpful because it'll just uh, run away on your on the terminal. Uh, minus s with this SSID is what I usually would see being used because that gives you the detailed information regarding a particular safe set ID. Then there is the uh, uh, RDZ which is used if in case you're using multi-tenancy. Uh, you can also use the second uh, usage option wherein you can provide a query. So query is going to be in terms of the parameters that are available as an output for the NSR stats info. So I'm going to show you how exactly to use each of those uh, or I'm going to show you exactly how to use the command in any of those two usage formats. So let's go ahead and get on our backup server. So before I go ahead and run this command, let me just do uh, an info to just show you what backups are available right now with me. And as you can see, I have a number of backups. I have CBCs and so on and so forth. So first, uh, let's take a look at minus H. So to find or to check the usability or usage of the command, you can use the minus H switch, which will give you the two usage options that you have. Now let me just pick one of these uh, save sets. Uh, one quick note, I was not able to get any information for the domain uh, save set. So domain backup or the Active Directory backup uh, save set. Uh, not sure why, again, not documented anywhere, so I'm not able to get any information out of it, but let's try to get some information regarding this particular save set here. So the usage is simple. Let's clear, let me copy this first and clear the screen so it comes all the way to the top. We are going to use the minus H switch and give it the save set ID. And here is the output from this command. So 
you would get a similar output if you use MM Info, but you will never ever get the client operating system details from the MM Info command, nor the client details, uh, client version details. So these are all the information which um, I had struggled to get in when I was in operations, uh, and getting this in one single place is pretty awesome. Uh, so here you will see that there is application name, version name, if in case you are using an application, uh, the type of backup, here it is a full backup, if it is a backup or a clone, what kind of backup it is, so this is a file system backup, this is uh, the target, uh, the backup target, what was the backup type, the browse time, so all this is in nsafe time or unix uh, time format. So you might have to convert this if in case you're using this to get the information related to the browse time or the backup time. Then there is the client ID, the client name, the operating system and the platform details. The end time, again in nsafe time or unix uh, time format, the client version of networker, the networker server and the server version, there are other details that uh, we don't have for this particular client right now. And then there is the safe set information, retention information, and the uh, size, as well as the status of the backup. So uh, this is all in a format uh, like this. So it might not be very helpful, or you might ha need an extra effort to, again, format this or parse this to a usable format, whichever you want to use in the report. So totally up to you. So let's try another command on another save set. I have to go back and run an NM info again. So let's take something from a Unix machine. Run this command again. So again, as you see, it is giving me the operating system information and all the uh, good information that I want from this. So the other usage was uh, around the query. So one of the things that I liked about this was that if in case I wanted to, to query something related to just file system, then I could very well do that using this option wherein I can put this as a query oops I missed that let me copy this again put this in as a query and there you have it it is going to list all the save sets that match that particular pattern which is of type file system so you could very well use this with any other type of uh, data so that's what uh, that's all i wanted to share in this very short video some more information is in my uh, blog uh, the link to the blog is in the description thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my twitter account i will see you on another video Goodbye.